my dear friends, the church has always provided ways for us to have an experience of God. And the 1st of September, the church provides us with two ways in which we can capitalize in order to encounter God. The first way is that it draws our attention to the beauty of creation. That God has given us this created world with all its ornamentation, its beauty, with everything in it, and placed it under our care. That we must care for the earth and that we must see the development and the growth of the earth for human good, for human nurturing, and for the continuation of living in this world. We are called, therefore, to care for our earth, not to waste, but to ensure that what God has given us, we can also multiply, we can also make it even greater so that others too may come and participate in what God has done and always fill up gratitude for everything He has given us, our animals, our minerals, our, the soil, the air, the flowers, the mountains, the seas, the skies, the cons cons constellations, all the beautiful things, the breath that we have, the ability to move, all these things that God has given that we must be grateful. The second way of encountering God is through the revealed scripture. God decided to come to human beings and to speak. And this speaking is a dialogue between human beings and God. God reaching out, taking the initiative to say that I am the divine, I am the one who created you, and I want to be with you, I want to talk with you, I want to walk with you, I want to have a conversation with you. So the month of September also provides an opportunity for us to pay attention to the revealed word of God. So he spoke to Abraham and Abraham spoke to him. He spoke to Moses, he called out to him and Moses responded and there was an interaction between Jeremiah and the Lord. And so God continues that right up to this present time. He speaks a word and the word is there for us to ponder, to pray, to reflect, and to just allow ourselves to bask in this word. So September is not that it is anything special, but it is a time when we say, yes, yes, in a way, this month, I want to dedicate every day to reflect I to read something from the Word of God because there is where I get my food, my nourishment, my strength, my consolation, my moment of joy, my moment of sorrow. Here is where I can express myself in His Word. The Bible, therefore, provides each of us with an opportunity to encounter God, but we must go to it. We must silence ourselves before Him. We must encounter Him as mystery. And yet, a God who reveals Himself, who wants to be with us, and who wants to share His life with us, and wants us to be engaged and to share our concern and our life with Him. My brothers and sisters, God wants us not only to know about Him, but to know Him. And to know him is to go to his word. And this word can become so part of you that you will encounter him as the living Lord, Jesus, in the sacraments and in the Eucharist. I encourage you for the rest of this month, pay attention to creation and pay attention to his word and you will be spiritually enriched. Blessings.